Hi, and it's uh, Rob from Lab Book at LabCon, and this time I'm talking to Nathan from Orion Spear. So, hi, Nathan. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm just wondering if you could just give us an overview of what Orion Spear is and what you've got coming up this year. Sure, yeah. So, um, so Orion Sphere LARP is a science fiction system. Um, we have tried to take our influences from like multiple different sources of science fiction, from sort of space opera stuff to the kind of space westerny type stuff. Um, it's four sort of primary factions sort of vying for control of the Orion Sphere arm of the galaxy. Um, the Terran Ascendancy, which is kind of heavily influenced by the Empire sort of type background from Star Wars. Um, the Free Union, uh, which is probably most closely aligned to like the Serenity type. Um, sort of uh, humanity aspects that are out there. You then have um, the Elysian commonality who are colloquially referred to as the space elves. Um, they're kind of very spiritual um, but have a kind of very rigid structured society that kind of sits behind that spiritual outlook. And then you have the Tlaki Dominion um, or again colloquially referred to as the space lizards or space dinosaurs. Um, and they're a very kind of religious but kind of quite warlike um, uh, faction in the galaxy and then within those four factions there's multiple other alien races that you can play that have sort of been conquered or that have allied with those factions over the over the years and the history of the of the galaxy as we've sort of mapped it out um, and then the kind of second big dimension of the game which which the suit represents to, to no small part is the mega corporations yep. so the mega corporations kind of run the finances the resources the technology of the of the galaxy and make that stuff available to the um, to the various different populations and that's all significantly underpinned by what is probably our biggest unique selling point which is the UK Bridge Simulator, uh, who run our um, spaceships for us. So you can come and fly a spaceship in our galaxy um, from one place to another and get involved in various things. And that's uh, that's you know, just utterly cool, um, the setup the guys have evolved um, to help us out with that. And it's uh, it's really brilliant. Yeah, just for me, talking about the simulator, because that's a very unique point. <laughs> um, so that, that would be where members where players play members of a spaceship crew and, yep. run a, and run a console effectively. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so um, you know, I think there are there are six unique console positions you can take in the in the bridge sort of simulator from the sort of captain, helm, weapons off and navigation, etc. Um, and based on sort of those uh, roles you take, you get to interact with different systems that are, that are kind of affect the running of the ship. Um, and yeah, you, you effectively come along with that crew. You can have passengers as well, and so you can literally fly from whatever planet we're we're basing our event on to another planet and go and do a mission on that planet so you can take people with you and, and fly around um, and yeah you literally control that ship and fly it around in a, in a, um, a simulated environment uh, which is fantastic and and actually we've every species has kind of got their own ships and those have been generated separately with the graphics that they use in the back end that you see as well so so everything sort of unique for each, each race and yes. uh, each faction, yeah. But that's really fantastic, yeah. And um, coming up for this year, you, have you got many events running? We've got two events running this year. Um, so we're running our first event um, in the middle of July, from the 15th to 17th of July. Yep. Um, we've got our second event running in mid-September, so I think it runs the 16th, the 18th of September. I keep forgetting which date's the Friday. Um, but it's uh, but two events this year, um, and we'll, we're aiming to sort of do two to three events uh, on an annual basis going forward, yep. um, assuming that everything goes well this year. We hope it will do. Um, we're very much running our first event this year as a kind of bit of a reintroduction to the system, sort of conscious that we've been sort of out of action for a couple of years, as, as unfortunately many people have. Um, but we wanted to make sure our first event this year gave people an opportunity, either new players or old players, to kind of just remind them of the different things they can do and interact within the game. Um, and the different ways in which they can kind of access story and plots and, and activities for their characters to get involved in. Yeah, oh, yeah I think it's a great idea for two years that it's good to build people back into the game rather than just yeah. hoping they remember everything. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And um, but I mean, equally, we know um, because thankfully some of our players have, were, were kind of nice enough to, to vote for us for um, cancelled LARP of the year. And um, as I as I previously won a LARP award for, for a couple of different things, I get to see some of the nomination stuff that comes through. And like yeah. people are referring to plot lines that they're excited to get back into, which is great to read as a as a game runner that your players have missed not just the setting but specific parts of the setting that they're really keen to get back involved in. I would take that as a very, very good sign, yeah. That's, that's superb. And that gives me, I mean, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Yeah, no worries, it's been and, a pleasure. And I uh, hope, hope to see you around well, soon. And thanks to you guys for doing this as well, right? Because actually getting this stuff out there, getting this content online, it isn't, you know, it, it, it brings what we're doing at LARPCon, what we're doing with our LARPs, to yeah. a wider audience and gives them an opportunity to learn a bit about the different types of games they can get involved in. So thank you for, for doing this, guys. It's our pleasure. Thank you very much. No Cheers. Cheers.